Good morning, I'm Polarized Moon and welcome back to RuneScape. Uh, now that we've got that last couple episode stuff all done, we can jump right back into the thick of it with going through the timeline of the quests. Uh, looks like we've got a tale of two cats next. Talk to Unfirth, Unfirth in his house in Berthrop. Okay, we can, we can do that. Uh, Berthrop is next to Port Sarum. Um, right? Berthrop is that little, uh, no, that's Brimhaven. Wait, 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 wait. Where's Berthrop? Uh... Wait, which one's Berthrop? Is that the town... No, that's Brimhaven. That's Rimmington. Alright, wait a second. My brain is completely shut down. Where's Berthrop again? Berthrop. Okay, that's where we need to go. Alright, let's go there. Man... Again, it's been- now it's been like half a year since I played this last. Um, for you guys it hasn't been any time at all because of the way I record these. Uh, I record a, a big batch all at once over the course of two weeks of membership. And then release them periodically throughout the year. Um, last time I believe I recorded like something upwards of 30 something- 30 something episodes in one set. So, I need to- wait, no, who am I talking to? I guess I might as well put this as a marker. Set active. Aha! You! Can I actually run through here? It looks like I can. Oh, the tree's not blocking the way I thought it was. So I need to talk to Unfirth. Uh... That is a really... Alright, that is a really terrible color. Hold on, let me go get a cat. Um, I don't know why the color was so... I wonder if that showed up differently on the recording, but on my monitor, I could barely read that first line of text. Uh, I have a cat here somewhere. Where do I have the cat? There it is. Overgrown cat. Uh, drop. Oh, uh, that's right. I need to get rid of my, get rid of my follower here. Pets. Oh wait, can I just dismiss from here? No, I can't. Okay. Some of them you can, some of them you can't. Dismiss pet. There we go. Oh, wait, whoops. I already clicked it. Dismiss pet. There we go. Now... Oh, wait, did I did I say I need it in my inventory? I, I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll carry it with me. We'll see how it goes. Is this, is this where I get the cat speak amulet? Wait, do I already have the cat speak amulet? Now that I think about it, I don't remember if I do or not. I think that might have been something we did at the very end of the last set. Hello! I see you have a cat. Meow. Indeed I do. Do you have a cat? I do have the cat speak amulet. I do! His name is Bob, but I can't find him. Oh dear. I haven't seen him for a week. What am I to do? Meow. Meow. Hmm, my cat is trying to say something, but I'm not wearing the cat amulet of cat speak. Okay, okay. I do I do have it, and I need it. I don't know why I didn't think about that until when I was partially over there already. Alright, let's bank at the bank booth. Grab my amulet of cat speak. Where even that is. There it is. Cool. Alright. Now I have my cat speak amulet, and now I can... <laughs> now I can do this, I think. I've gone back several times. Hello, I see you have your cat. Meow. What did I do? Do you have a cat? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, dear. What am I to do? What a wet blanket. Bob can look after himself. I know, puss, but he's in distress. What? Never mind. <laughs> uh, accept quest. Tell you what. I'll help you. Would you? Oh, that would be so great. I don't have to leave- I don't want to leave the house in case Bob comes back. He must be hungry by now. This guy gets on my nerves. I need to give my cat this kind of voice. Shush! Huh? Uh, where did you see Bob last? Well, he usually comes back once a week. Usually a Monday. Wonder why on Monday? Hmm, well... This week he hasn't come back for his food and I'm worried. So he could be anywhere. I guess so. I've just had an idea. 
Oh my, you win a biscuit. Puss. Do you want to help or not? I said I would, didn't I? Okay. My friend Hild is cleverer than me. Anyone would be cleverer. <laughs> this isn't funny. I'm sorry. Where was I? Oh, yes. My friend Hild might be able to locate where Bob is. She lives in a house just down the road to the southwest. Okay, I'll go speak to her. Please hurry. Okay, so I need to go to Hild. Just down the road. Okay, that's Nora. And, uh... Hild. Hi, Hild. Greetings, adventurer. Why have you come to me in my abode? Greetings, Hilda. I'm trying to find Unferth's cat. <laughs> Unferth's cat? Pfft. Unferth is Bob's human. What are you talking about? Your cat speaks some truth. It is humans that misinterpret their relationship with cats. You understand what my cat is saying? Indeed. Uh... Bob didn't come home this week. Hmm. This is not like Bob. I wonder what could be the problem. I don't think there is a problem. Bob is probably chasing females again. Hello. I'm still here. I'm sorry, Polarized Moon. I will help Unferth find Bob. He's been a friend of mine for year many years. Ah, good. Uh, he could be anywhere, though. I see you have an amulet of cat speak. If you can open the amulet up, you see contained inside is a mechanism. If this is enchanted correctly, it can be used to locate a cat. In our case, Bob, if you bring me five death runes, then I will be able to perform the enchantment for you. Ah, uh, I don't have the death runes. Come back to me when you have them. Alright, I guess I'm going to my bank. It's a good thing it's very close by. Okay, what have we here? Uh, five death runes? I've got that. Somewhere. Uh, there they are. All five. Fantastic. And then from there, I have... N okay, so we're gonna open up our Cat's Peak amulet and f enchant it somehow? <clears throat> Greetings, adventurer. Do you have the death rune so I can enchant your amulet of cat's beak? I have the death runes with me now. Good. Give me the amulet so I may perform the enchantment. You pass Hild the amulet. Hild gives you the enchanted amulet. Using the enchanted amulet is easy. Open up the amulet, and you'll see a cat's face. Use the whiskers to rotate the cat's nose. You see the nose move in a new direction highlighted. When the nose points the direction that Bob is in, the eyes will light up and the mouth will open. You'll need to head in that direction and then check the direction again. If we're very close, then the eyes and mouth will animate no matter which way the nose is pointing. That's all there is to it. Good luck. Mm, thanks. Alright, so I guess I have to take the amulet off. I guess I can just equip the one I've got. Open? Uh... Okay, so it's to the northwest. Oh wait, there. Uh, let me or or orient this uh, or orient this correctly. To the north. Is ca is Bob moving? All right. Uh Let let's see. Wait, you're not talking about my cat, are you? Uh Okay, this way. Wait, is the cat in this house over here? Aha, Bob! Well, never mind, that was easy. Oh, let me wear that again. Bob, I found you at last! Hi, Bob! Hi there, son. Oh, don't start that again. 
The human, the humans have been looking for you. They get worried too easily. Ah, I should have realized Unforth would miss me. What's up? Ah, I can't believe it, but I've fallen for Naite. Naite. Now I'm sure I've heard that name before. What a beauty she is! It's the way the shimmer from the hot sand makes her eyes sparkle. The way she flicks her tail as she leaps gracefully across the pyramids. The way she cleans herself after a good rat, as you humans would say. She's the cat's whiskers. Oh, how I, how long I had to be curled up with her in front of a log fire and a big bowl of tuna. Menavos would be a great place to start a family. Wow, he's got a bed. Real, real bed. Never thought I'd see the day. I know. There's something about her. The way she, well, it's everything. Oh, the hidden pain of love. Love lies, lies not within the eyes, but within the mind. And therefore is the winged cupid painted blind. I'm starting to feel sick. I haven't been home because I wanted to be alone. Does Naya feel the same way about you? She said she has feelings for me, but would never get involved with anyone with no family or status. Nah, I don't you don't know who your parents are? All I know is that Gertrude found me on her doorstep one day. She looked after me when I was a kitten. The crazy cat lady? And uh, don't you have any memory of your parents? Nothing. If all this back on to remember is Gertrude looking after me. Polarized wheel, let's go talk to Gertrude. Perhaps she knows Bob's parents are. Do I look like a matchmaker? Come on, we can help Bob. Uh alright. Cool. Um So we need to go to Varrock. Yes. Yeah. Verak, because that's where Gertrude lives. Yes, that makes sense. That That's exactly, yeah? Yes. I'm pretty sure I know where she is. I need to go up and around this way. Oh. Ah, don't know why I'm so yawny. Alright, so Gertrude's house is right over here. Oh, hello. Ooh, pretty. Look at that, that's gorgeous. Ah, uh, yeah, Gertrude's right here. Ah, itchy nose. Hey, Gertrude. Uh, Bo ask about Bob's parents. Hello again, Gertrude. Welcome back, adventurer. How's your cat? I'm fine, thanks. He says he's fine. Uh, what can I do for you, then? I hope it's not about death runes. I heard a terrible rumor, you know. Death runes? No, no idea. That's not what I... Um, okay, so there uh, you can sell cats, fully grown cats, to Ardaung for death runes. For, I believe, 20 death runes. Come on, spit it out. This is going to sound silly. Are you going on a stupid accent? Are you going to talk in a stupid accent? Go on, try me. Uh, well, do you know who Bob's parents are? Bob, you mean the big tomcat who hangs around in the Heroes Guild? No, I'm afraid I don't know a lot about him. People around here know I care for the sick and abandoned animals. And one day I found a basket with a kitten inside. I left it on my doorstep. It left on my doorstep. Ah, oh, I brought him back. I bought him up. I brought him up as best as I could. Shush, I can read. And as soon as I learned to take care of himself, he really was an amazing little thing. There was this one time when... We don't have time for this. Bob could be in trouble. Oh, oh my god, stop yawning. <laughs> Tell her to get on with it. Crumbs, your cat is quite nosy, isn't it? Is everything okay? Uh, no, it needs to be taken to the vets, urgently, for an emergency amputation. I do hope you're joking. These claws are real, you know. None of your bronze nonsense. See, she can't stop howling. Allergic to cat hair, apparently. Anyway, you were talking about Bob's parents? Was I? Oh, yes, well, I'm afraid I don't know anything about them, adventurer. Hang on. Hey, this is something to do with the legend. Yeah, it might, that might be it. You ever heard about Robert the Strong? Vaguely. Ask Gertrude if she knows anything. Hmm, Gertrude. Do you know anything about the legend of Robert the Strong? No, sorry, it's a legend. Tereldo you need to talk to. He's in Varric Palace Library. Knows all about that kind of thing. Good old Gertrude. Come on, let's go. But, I'll explain later. Okay, I know where Reldo is. We've talked to him quite a bit. Oh my god, can I stop yawning? That would be fantastic. 
I just started recording like 15 minutes ago. I don't need to... I don't need to <laughs> be yawning this early into my recording session today. Alright. Let's go. Oh, I'm gonna pick up all those bones. You give me them bones. I'm gonna steal them all. Yoink. There we go. Let's bury some of them. Alright, let's go talk to Reldo now. Wait, you're inside the pillar? I didn't know that was a thing. Before we get to business, I hear you might have access to the Everlight dig site. One of you might retrieve a certain artifact from there for me. Will it bring me a restored Dominarian device? A oh, magical relic I would have give you as payment. It might help you fund your future endeavors. I'll keep that in mind. Oh my god. Stop with the yawning. Ask about Robert the Strong. Hello. I, I always forget what voice I give Reldo. Hello, Reldo. Go on, ask him. Okay, I'm on it. Do you know anything about Robert the Strong? Hmm, well. Let me see. There is mention of him in one of my books in the history of Gilenor. Fourth Age, popular lore. Ah, here we are. Robert the Strong. Not much known about the hero called by the people of Asgarnia, Robert the Strong. Most folk tales describe him as being taller than the tallest human. And far stronger than the strongest man. He wields a six foot tall longbow and travels with his faithful partner, Odysseus. He is said to have a personal crusade against the Dragonkin. Dragonkin? Uh, I'm coming to that. The stories tell of the Dragonkin and an intelligent race of bird like creatures that walked rather than used their wings. They are said to be immortal but cannot reproduce. Because of this, they became very afraid of death and shunned all other races. The Dragonkin made corrupted versions of themselves for protection. What we now know as dragons. Well, that's everything we know about him, and that is from folk tales. Doesn't sound very believable. Oh my god. Huh, I need to I, I need to wake up, I guess. Very little is known about this early part of Gilinorian history, but unlike many scholars, I believe that folk tales are based on events that actually happened. And is the way history has been passed down generations before we had a way of recording it. Thank you, Reldo. You've been most helpful. That was a nice tale for mothers to tell their children, but it doesn't show us how... I don't see how this helps Bob. Don't you think it's odd that no one knows where Bob came from? Oh, wait, that's the wrong voice. I guess, but he's just a cat, right? Yeah, I hoped you'd realize that before there's more cats than humans believe. Okay, okay, I get your point. After all, I'm being dragged around by Gilinor by my cat. Now, I wouldn't say dragged. Let's call it a partnership. Okay. So you're saying that Robert the Strong is... Bob? Let's ask Bob. Let's go. Alright. So, my cat thinks that Bob is Robert the Strong? That's Edgeville. Nope, that's the wrong place. I need to go to Burt. Nope. Oh my god, could I hit the right thing, please? That would be fantastic. Berthrop. There we go. Let's go to the correct location this time. That would be great. So, over the course of the next couple weeks, I'm probably going to be recording about 30 more episodes. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah. Hey, Bob. Hi, Bob. Did you find out who my parents are? Not exactly. We think you are, or used to be, Robert the Strong. Robert the who? I thought this was stupid. Robert the Strong was a great hero. You have no memory of him? No, I'm afraid not. Does a Black Panther called Odysseus ring any bells? No. What about Dragonkin? Vicious race of bird-like creatures. Nothing. It's like there's nothing else we can do, puss. I'm not done yet. You remember when you were hypnotized by the Devourer? Well, no. I was hypnotized. Hehe. <laughs> the Sphinx understood how, if you were hypnotized, it might be possible to access Bob's memories of Robert the Strong. Sounds crazy. Guess it might work. Bye for now, Bob. We're gonna speak to the Sphinx. Bye. 
Oh, we're going to the Sphinx. All right, all right, time to go to Menophos. Uh, I still can't walk through... I still can't walk through the thing, can I? Or is that a thing I can do now? Do I have to go up and around? I don't remember. Uh, this way. I still haven't done anything here in Menophos. Can I go through here? Go to soften them. Move along, there's no passage this way. Alright, I guess I do have to go out and around. And it's not that big a deal. As long as I don't die. Um... Uh, do, should I grab some water skins or whatever? I have some in my bank. But I guess I could just, like... I could just run quickly. We'll see. Ugh, okay. Yeah, because I just need to get over there. I mean, that's not- that's not too far. Or I could just, you know, not. That works too. Oh look, vultures, great. Um... Yeah, I shouldn't have too much of a problem. There's a little bridge right over there. And then the water, or the, the heat damage doesn't set in right away. So I should be fine for the most part. Yeah, there we go. It, that's just a little bit of damage and it's not a lot. Emperor Wing. Emperor Wing. Emperor Wing. Emperor, the Emperor's Wing. Is that dingoes? Jackals. I guess that makes sense too. The dingoes would be in Australia. This is more like Egypt. Good day, adventurer. I must thank you for protecting our high priest, though I am sad to hear the death of one of our brethren. Word. It was quite the battle. It was nothing, really. Quite good at that kind of thing. Don't keep, let us keep you. I'm sure you have got plenty of other important questing to get on with. Oh, I didn't have to talk to you. I could just go through the desert. Or go through the gate. Works for me. Alright, Sphinx. We're back. Now, ask for help. Good day. I don't remember what voice I gave the Sphinx. What is it, human? Sphinx, we need your help. Yes, please help. Ah, very well. I see you have a close relationship with your cat. I will help you if I can. What is the problem? Thank you. Bob's in love with Nayate, but we need to prove that he used to be Robert the Strong before she will have anything to do with him. Slow down, human. Bob has fallen in love? This I did not foresee. Who is this Robert the Strong that you speak of? Uh, he was a mighty hero. Human myths interest me not. Robert the Strong was no ordinary human, though. It is true that there is something about Bob. There is the mark of power on him. I have ignored it for too long. But Bob has no memory of this. Then it is time for action. Come with me into the desert, so we are not disturbed. Oh wow, a five minute cutscene. Okay, cool. I'm fine with that. I, we're, we're only... Like halfway into this episode, so we're we're good. Let me close this. Can I move, remove that? That would be nice. Quiet, please. I shall summon Bob. Okay. Ah, there we go. Oh. Wow. Whoa, what happened? I was eating a particularly nice piece of tuna. Greetings, Bob. Oh, hi there, Sphinx. Hi there, Polarized Moon. What is going on? I have brought you to find out who you really are. So, you buy this Robert the Strong stuff? I have long su suspected that your appearance as an ordinary cat belies your true nature. Hey, I'm just this cat, you know. Look into my eyes. Sure, whatever. Are you going to transform into a person? 
You are now under my influence. Let's start with something simple. What is your name? My name is Bob. Good. Have you ever been called Robert the Strong? I... I don't know. Think back to your earliest memories. I see a big cat. Where are you now? I am in front of a dark tower. The cat is called Odysseus. It, what is your name? My name is Robert. I am walking towards the tower. Ooh, it's a dragon king. Oh, <laughs> whatever that was, it didn't register. Oh, wow, look how... That's hilarious. Come, Odysseus. Hasente? Hasente. Oh, this is an old-fashioned cutscene. Okay, I guess we're just watching a battle unfold here. Oh no! The kitty! Uh-oh. Oh, this isn't going so well. Crassortius. Never! Oh, wow. Okay. So, what about that? You are no longer under my influence. Wow, Bob, you really are Robert the Strong. I am? Yeah, when you were hypnotized, you told us of when you defeated a Dragon King. I did? Yeah, how, how can <laughs> Nayate refuse you now? Really? Sphinx, summon Nayate, please. There are more important matters to ma than matchmaking. I can't wait. Bob has been lovesick, so we need to tell Nite. Very well. I shall summon Nite. Poof. Oh, the very blue cat. Hello, furballs. Hi, Nite. Uh, hello. What do I owe this pleasure? Bob is Robert the Strong. What are you talking about? The Sphinx hypnotized Bob. Bob told us that he was Robert the Strong, fighting Dragonkin. So you're supposed to be Robert the Strong? Mm, so they tell me. Huh. For too long I have ignored the fact that there is a mark on pow of power on Bob. Under my influence, Bob was able to recall memories that had remained hidden until now. It proves he is, or was, Robert the Strong. Wow! Come here, you! Meow. Nite whispers in Bob's ear. Whisper, 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 whisper. Nite! Of course, kitten. Hey, Polarized Moon, could you do me a favor? Of course. Nite and I are going to go away for a few days. Could you look after Unearth Unfirth for me while I'm away? Uh, sure. I'll give you a list of what needs doing. Okay, no problem, Bob. <laughs> Wait, is this a, is this more quest? Uh, teleport back to Unfirth's house. Okay, cool. That works for me. Oh my god, I still have a... I still have this here. Uh, Bob is giving you a task of chores to look after Unverth. Oh, now it goes away. Okay. Uh, read chores. Tidy house, warm human, feed human, tidy human, tend garden. Alright. Uh, let's see. So I need to... Inspect table. Table is an empty cake stand and empty milk glass on it. Okay, so I need a cake and a milk. Tidy, warm human. Tidy house. Um, how do I do that? Oh, make the bed. Okay, that makes sense. Is that checked off the list? 
Okay. So that I'm assuming I need logs for the fireplace. Uh, oh, do I have to rake the patch in the back? To do the gardening? I guess. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Uh, tidy, tend garden. So do I just keep going until it's all raked? Tend garden. Uh, potatoes. I have potato plants. Okay, I can do that. Potato seeds, here I come. I don't know how many of them I had. I used to have a lot of them, but I think I may have sold them for some reason. I don't remember what I did with them. I, I probably have some left, though. Uh, okay. I'm gonna grab five of them. I don't know how many of that patch needs, but, uh, it is what it is. Also, I might have cake. I should have checked. I, I might have to get a bucket of milk, too. I'm assuming it's milk and cake. Use potato seed on the patch. Alright, is that, uh... No, tend garden. Um, okay. Let's, uh, let's go get some milk and... Some milk and cake. And then maybe that's... Okay, what, what's next? Oh, and logs. Um... So I'm assuming the logs is to warm human. Use logs on fireplace. Is that what I can do? There we go. Light fireplace. Uh, is it lit? Did I do it? Feed human. Okay. So, inspect table. An empty cake and an empty milk glass. Okay. Got it. He did say those things. I guess that's why I thought it was, because it actually was what it was. I don't think I have- I don't think I have buckets of milk. Uh, let's see. But I might have cake. Do I need a regular cake or a chocolate cake? Also, let me search for... Uh, do I have a bucket? There we go. Let's grab a bucket. Let's go find a cow somewhere. Oh, there's cows down down over here. I don't know if there's a dairy cow down here, though. Now that I think about it. Oh, here we go. Uh, none of these are a dairy cow. You used to only get... Okay, you used to be able to get any... Uh, you used to be able to get cow milk from any cows, but now it's only dairy cows, and I don't remember where there's a dairy cow here, so I'm gonna... Teleport to where I know exactly where there is a dairy cow. And then I don't have to worry about it <laughs> as much. I happen to exactly know that there's a dairy cow over here. Uh... Alright, it's in this little stall over here. Or no, it's in this stall over here. What am I- what am I doing? It's, uh, one of these ones that are tied up over here. Um, one of the reasons why they changed this is because, uh... Still cowbell. Um, because it used to- well, I don't know exactly why they changed it. But it used to be that you could only interact- one person could only interact with a thing at a time. And that started causing issues. Okay, so that should be the milk and the cake. Um, I'm, gl I'm glad that I already had them. Uh, I have to figure out how to do the gardening one. And what was the last one? Oh, itchy eye. Okay, let's see. Um, ten tidy human? Wait, no. Tidy human. Uh, can I use on a table and use, wait, use cake on the table. 
use chocolate cake on the table. There we go. Okay. Uh, cut his hair? Alright, I guess I'm giving it a haircut. Oh, hey, look at that. He changed hairstyles. Oh, that's, that's funny. Oh, look at that. Wait, is he just cycling through hairstyles? I'm doing some... What? Don't tell him we're doing his chores. Part of the cat-human relationship... Oh, part of the cat-human relationship is to let them believe they're in control. Ah, uh, okay. Never mind. Huh? Okay. Um... Tend garden. So do I have to... Do I have to just grow those? Is that what the deal is here? Um, let me go get my watering equipment or my gardening equipment. Maybe I can, uh, maybe I can speed this along a little bit. I don't know if this is something that just takes a while to do or what. Okay, let me put these away. Yeah, I might as well put those away. Uh, my tools are in the tool with the tool dude. Oh, look, the yak track. I think I got one of those rewards for that earlier. Oh, look, my potatoes are grown. I don't particularly care about that right now, though. Uh, let's see. Exchange to leprechaun. Modern can and a compost. Okay. Maybe, maybe I need to use this with the, with the that and try to grow the things. Maybe just doing that will be enough to, 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 to cross it off the list. Maybe. Who knows? Let's get over there. Get over here. Alright. <laughs> it's funny how some of these guards just... Imperial, some of these guards just kind of stand there like they've got no animation going on. Okay. Doesn't need compost. Use watering can. Don't think it needs watering. Okay, never mind. Do I just have to let it grow then? I I guess. I don't I don't know. Did I just hear something knocking on something? That was weird. All right, I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna go put this stuff back then. Oh, that was a fun teleport. Uh, the Heroes Guild. Can I go into the Heroes Guild yet? Is that a thing that I can do? I don't know. Um, yeah, okay. So, I'm gonna run over here. And then I'm going to, uh, exchange this. Put these back in here. Because apparently they're not doing anything. Then we're gonna run back. So, I guess I'm, I'm assuming I'm just letting this, letting this stuff grow. Um... Because I have everything else done at this point. I'm glad I kind of did that first. Or did I? No, I did. I, I did do that first. Or second. I don't remember. And then we'll see how it goes from there. Unless there's something else I'm supposed to do here. But either way, I think that's all the time I've got for this episode. Like and subscribe if you like the episode, ring that bell if you'd like to see more. Good night, and I'm going to come back when these are grown, possibly, uh, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye!